Hello everyone. Another quick video here on my water cooling supplies that I have. As you can see, this is a Coolens 150 millimeters uh, reservoir. Um, I'm not sure how much liquid it goes in it, but um, yep, yeah, that's it. Uh, we've got some tubing there, a 19 outer and 13 inner diameter. Also have these coolants fitting, compression fittings. I've just decided to go for those because I think they're a lot safer than barb fittings. And um, they look quite nice as well in my case. Um, yeah, they're quite nice. Although the writing on them seem to have kind of worn off a little bit. So, yeah, not too happy about that. Especially because they cost like a fiver each, which is quite pricey to be honest uh, as you can see we have Mayhem's uh, coolant liquid here it's not actually a UV one this one um, I'm not sure why did they put on there but it was in UV uh, it's just a normal red liquid that I have in my PC or have had uh, you will see in future videos once I get to edit and put some more out uh, I have some old purple coolant here as well I haven't used that one at all, only because I have half a bottle of it and um, can't really do much with that. For my loop, I probably need around 800 millimeters, uh, milliliters actually, sorry, of coolant to fill in the loop, possibly a bit more even. Um, yeah, I've just put some of it here so I can see what it looks like and it looks great, this purple one. Uh, maybe I'll have that in my PC real soon, who knows. Uh, backplate for my heat killer 3.0 uh, DDC 1T plus pump uh, 12 uh, watts I think it is as you can see these ports aren't all too good but it's just a 3 pin fan connector and uh, Molex uh, for power uh, what is this oh yeah these are the brackets for the reservoir quite nice although they can't be as tight as I want them to be, but they kind of do the job. I'm only using one bracket hooked up onto my uh, case for a motherboard, which you will see later. I will get around uploading that video. Um, it's quite nice to have these. Plus, I've never done a loop myself before, or anyone else for that matter. So yeah, um, very exciting stuff and the future. These are not my fingernails, just so you know. I'm not doing my nails. We d I did get this foam as well with the um, reservoir itself. That's um anti-cyclone thing. If you don't want to use the, um, the that little bracket inside. I've just decided to go for a bracket because you can barely see it anyway. And this is the heat killer um, CPU block. As you can see, it's copper on the back. You get all the screws and everything else that comes with it. It's quite a nice uh, heat um, CPU block, sorry. But uh, I've had to use barb fittings on that when I've actually fitted everything because uh, the fittings that I've decided to go for are quite uh, thick and uh, I couldn't actually do anything with them. Uh, a pair of Corsair Ultra Quiet Edition something 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 free pin 1450 rpms uh, quite nice fans not too happy with them but that's all i've got at the moment uh this is the reservoir uh the yeah the radiator sorry um uh, yep it's uh 240 mil i guess uh, radiator it's quite thick quite good i don't know what brand it is or whatever it worked quite well in my PC for a little bit, but I've decided to go for something else. Is um, this was just ugly, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Stay tuned to find out more. Thank you.